What's up everybody? I want to show you the best way to route audio for video chatting when you're using a DAW so that you can hear your DAW, the person you're chatting with can hear your DAW. They can hear your voice, but you don't hear your voice in your own headphones. So in order to do that, you're going to need two apps. One of them is Soundflower. And Soundflower is really great for routing audio throughout your computer. You can sample off the internet. You can um, do quite a lot of cool things with it. It's worth having. It's free. And the other one is Laudiocast or Ladiocast. Um, this is basically like a virtual mixer that will allow you to send things through your computer. So what you're going to do is launch Soundflower and Laudiocast. And I'm going to hit Command Spacebar to open my Spotlight and just write Soundflower in. Hit Enter. That opens up. And I'm going to do the same thing and write Ladiocast. That opens up. And there it is. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take this input here to be Soundflower 16 channel. I'm going to take the input here to be my built-in microphone. Now, on live, I'm going to go into the preferences and make sure that my audio is being sent to Soundflower 16. So, Soundflower is being received here, and so is my microphone being received here. Now we get a couple different outputs, and this is what makes Ladiocast really cool. The main output I'm going to set that to Soundflower 2. And this is what I'm ultimately going to be sending to the person I'm video chatting with. Now, you'll notice here, I've got some places I can route the audio. I can route it to the main. I can turn that off and on. And I also can route it to my auxiliary output. So that's what I'm doing here. My auxiliary output is going to be my built-in output, which is my headphones that just are running right into my laptop. So I set that up. And on my built-in microphone for the other input, I'm just putting that to main. So this is only going to the main. It's not going to aux one because I'm listening to aux one. I don't want to hear my own voice because you get that funny delay and it can make it really hard to talk to somebody when you hear your voice kind of bouncing back a second later. So I'm listening to aux output one. I'm sending the sound channel, Soundflower channel two channels to the main output, which is what I'm going to send to the person I'm chatting with. So I'll go into whatever software I'm using to chat. Right now I just got Skype open. So I'm going to go to Preferences and Skype here. And I'm going to send the uh, microphone to be my Soundflower 2 channel. So now as I talk, you can see that they're still receiving audio. And I'll move this over here. I can go inside a live and I can just play some drum sounds here. And um, you can see that live is sending out audio. It is going to the microphone for um, Skype, and it's also being received in these two different spots here for um, my Ladiocast. The people I'm talking to can hear my my drums, and the, I can also hear them too in my output here. So that's how I like to do it. You just need two apps. They're both free. It's Soundflower and Ladiocast, and you just set up the routing. You get two different outputs. You send one to the person on Skype or Google Hangouts. Sometimes I like to use two. And you also send the aux output just to your headphones so that you can hear what's going on without hearing your own voice. Hope that helps, and I hope that makes it easier for you to collaborate with people online and have a lot of fun doing so. Thanks, and take care.